Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is number five in the series of kind of my Q&A series, but it's not just a Q&A where you ask me questions and I answer them. So last week I asked you guys a question and said, what should we call this? And well, the winner, uh, winner I guess, of that, uh, it wasn't really a competition, but but the, the name I chose obviously is Brickside Chat. And Seabad Cali is the one who submitted that last week. So I really appreciate, I got like seven or eight different things, which is like, more than I expected to be totally honest. So I appreciate everyone for giving me ideas and stuff along the way. And I like Brickside Chat because this isn't just a Q&A thing where I answer your questions. If there's a comment that someone that, that someone has that I wanna elaborate on, we're gonna go with that. So Brickside Chat is what this series is called. Thank you, Seabed Cali, for your submission. Um, with that being said, I had a few questions asking when is the store gonna open? Specifically for Matthew and Jared. Um, the answer to that is right now. It's actually open today. Um, so you can go ahead and place your orders and stuff and we'll get those shipped out to you. It was closed for a couple of reasons. Um, we were on lockdown, still are on lockdown, but it was, um, there was a misunderstanding with the post office. And then also I dropped eight or nine drawers on the ground as I was leaving one day, as I was just getting ready to the, I was cleaning up and leaving and, and I dropped eight or nine drawers. And at the time I'm like, oh, so when you drop eight or nine drawers, there's pieces all over the floor. Um, they were in a stack, I was ready to consolidate them, but. They went on the floor, so I um, I closed the store instead of just figured out what to do. But it's open now. Go ahead and place your orders, and uh, we'll get those pulled for you this week for sure, or whenever, probably the same day, most likely. Um, next question comes from David, and he said, how do you know what drawer numbers to take off the wall and lay them out? And he's referring when we're parting out sets, and the answer is we don't know what drawers to take out. So we have drawers that are over there, and we have extra drawers that are over there, and those are empty. So th that's why you see all the holes in the wall of not, drawers not being there because we have the empty drawers. So we lay out empty drawers, pour out all the Lego bags and sort them. Then when we're going in the computer, we specifically use the barcode system and we scan the barcode on the back of the drawer and then input everything into the computer. And then it tells us what we already have. So if we already had this piece in our inventory, we wouldn't scan this barcode and then it would tell us what drawer this piece is in. And then we go put this piece in the drawer that is already on the wall to consolidate or it's called concatenate those lots together um hopefully that made sense um if not you can go watch the parting out video i have that should clear it up as well um next question is kind of a technical question comes from blacker bricks he said what were the pan or were the pans and zooms in camera um or in post and he's uh relating to the last video i just did which was me beginning to part out the uh, shrimp shack attack the hidden side i think it's set 70422 i think um something like that but Parting out, um, and he, the time lapses were those in camera posts, the pans and zooms, entirely in post production. For most of the part of what I'm doing, it's all just me. So um, this goes along with Kaylee's question. She asked, What camera did you shoot this on? I shot it on a Panasonic GH4. Um, and instead of shooting a video and then just speeding it up, I had a time lapse mode so it would take a picture every, I think I had to set for four or five seconds. Um, initially, the part of me unboxing, if you saw that video, the time lapse was like two seconds. And the reason for that was. I had it set to every 10 seconds it would take a picture. Um, so then I switched it for the other one so it's a little smoother. But I, if I do that again, I think I'll make it every two seconds. It'll be a little bit smoother of a of a uh, time lapse there. Um, hopefully that answered your question. Um, but the, the pans and zooms were all done in post-production. I just shot at a higher resolution so I could crop in and then move and stuff. Um, DC Pro or DCD Pro X asks, what service do you use to make shipping labels and does it save you money? We use PayPal, um, reason being all our payment goes through PayPal. So if you place an order in our store on PayPal, I can go click your order and I can click a button that says print shipping label. And then I type in, um, like your address is already filled in there. Whatever your PayPal address is, is where it's gonna get shipped. And then I just type in, you know, how heavy the box is, what specific service I'm using. I don't know if it saves me money, but it does protect me as a seller. So being, it, it, PayPal has their seller protection. When you go through their service, all the shipping is linked through PayPal so they can see that it was delivered and all those things. So PayPal protects me and it doesn't charge more. And I think it might save a little bit of money. I'm not entirely sure to be totally honest though. You'd have to look into that. And I might look into that actually, it's a good question. AKA Turbo asks, what is the largest set you've ever parted out in terms of lots? And I think it's set uh, 10717. It's called Bricks, Bricks, Bricks. It was a 2018 Lego classic set. Had 1,527 pieces in 329 different lots. That was a long, long process. Um, so that is the biggest set at the moment that I've parted out in terms of lots um, and pieces, definitely. 
Um, then he also asked, would you consider a set too large of a set to part out at once? And if so, how large would that be? If you mean at once in one sitting, a ton of sets. A ton of sets I don't do in one sitting. I start to part them out, I'll take a break, I'll pack an order, I'll leave for the day or whatever it is. Um, so mo not most sets, but a decent amount of sets, I will definitely take breaks. Um, I wouldn't say there's no set or there's any set that I wouldn't part out. Uh, it just obviously takes time. And if it doesn't part out for a high enough value, then you have to factor in that time. So if you're only making two times on a set or three times on a set that takes you hours to part out, might not be worth it then. If you're making six or seven times that takes hours to part out, probably worth it at that point. Um, so it just depends on the price of the set and uh, what it sells for. But at the moment, I don't think there's any set that's too large to part out. Zbricks um, on my train review said he would love to see more of these videos with an extra twist. And this was me in the time lapse of me building the little promotional Lego train for the 40th anniversary. Um, but he said he'd love to see it with an extra twi twist. Review it also from the point of a Bricklink seller. And that's a fantastic point. And I think I'll do that actually, um, because I know that that set parted out for $54, or, or it did at the time, at least probably still around there. But it makes me wonder like, you know, or in my mind, it's like, okay, do I part it out because it's $54 potential in my store or do I build it because it's, it's a cool set? So from a Bricklink point of view or a Bricklink seller point of view, it's a good question. And I think I'll start doing that when I do certain little, uh, I guess, reviews on little builds and stuff like that. I'll, I'll talk about more of the Bricklink looking side of it and depending on trying to figure out whether or not I did want to part it out or, or build it. WJCD Martin, uh, I'll just call you Martin asked, can you tell me where you get all your baggies in the different sizes? Um, all the small bags that we get are, f or were at some point from Amazon. They are now from Uline. Um, they're a little bit cheaper on Uline if you're buying in a big bulk, but if you're doing it or buying it on Amazon, they're still about one cent a piece, depending how many you buy. Um, so Amazon, you just type in like, I want a two by two inch bag or two by three inch bag. That's the most common bag we use here. Um, and then they'll pop up and you just, you know, find the cheapest one and the ones that you think are gonna be the best for you. And you just uh, just go from there. So Amazon was our answer, but Uline is now the answer for bulk or for many more. Nicholas asked, when does Walmart, or when is that Walmart clearance season that you talked about? There are two that I've heard of. I know there's one directly after the holidays. So end of December into beginning half or so of January, there's a big clearance at Walmart. A lot of the sets they're trying to, you know, get off the shelf so they can restock with newer sets. I've also heard that July or early summer is um, is another season for clearance and they're trying to turn over the sets that are from the spring into getting all the summer sets. So it's either end of June, mid June, somewhere in there to maybe beginning of July. Um, I haven't been a Bricklink seller and knew about all that. So we'll, we'll find out this year, I guess, if, uh, if that's true or not. But that's what I'm hearing from a lot of other people. Uh, McQuell Lanson asked, how do you decide to name your labels for the walls? So I'm gonna grab the camera real quick and I'll show you this one a little bit more up close. So specifically on the walls here, these are all labeled with a D. D and then the number. And we start from D1 way at the end there, and we go all the way down to D2080 at the bottom there. Um, and the reason these are marked with a D is because these are drawers. So we can pull them out and they're drawers in this massive cabinet and, and big wall of actual drawers. We also have cups. So these are the Lego Pick-A-Brick cups, and these are marked with a C. And it's, at the moment it goes one through six. I have a couple more that aren't full right now, but those have a C because it stands for cups. Over here we have trays as well, and that is T for tray. And then the last thing we have is over here is the bins, B for bins. So it just depends um, kind of on how you want to do it. And he also asked, is there a system to finding them? Yes, that is the whole reason we label them. So some people, and I've seen, and I've recommended against it uh, that certain sellers do or beginning sellers do, I've seen on YouTube. Sometimes they'll mark this with whatever's in it. So they'll, they'll uh, you know, on the outside of here, they'll write one by eight. I think that's one by eight. Yeah, that's one by eight. Um, on here, it'll be written one by eight um, plate. And that means now, if you sell all of these, you either have to take the label off and relabel it, or this drawer is only for one by eight plates. So what we can do is if we sell all of these now, we can put a different piece in this drawer and assign that piece, D918, as a remark in when we're uploading. So in the remarks field, if you're uploading a piece, 
there is a section that says my remarks and my remarks is private the, the buyers cannot see that only the sellers so typing in d918 or d0918 to make it a four digit number will help you and then when you get the order it'll say that this piece is in 918 you can pick this piece out you know right where it is it told you where it was and now you're ready to go put this in the bag and ship it to your seller or to your buyer sorry um so hopefully that answered your question there and then he also asked how do you keep track of your stock and if you're making a profit on the pieces that you're selling um, I have a video on that. We have a spreadsheet that we specifically type in all the sales to, as well as all the expenses and our purchases. So we can see if we made $600 this month and we put $500 in this month, we know we made a profit of $100. Um, so that's how we do it for accounting purposes. It's all mostly on a month to month basis, just to do the fact that this piece specifically in this set might be one cent. But if we also got one torso, that's technically also one cent. So the minifig being consisting of four, let's say four pieces, is only gonna be four cents while this is one cent of our cost when we purchased it, if that makes sense. So we just do it on a month to month basis for, you know, if we spend $100 this month and we have $100 in sales this month, perfect, we evened out and we're good. Um, those are all the questions I have for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions for next week, for next episode of Brickside Chat, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. Um, and then if you just have anything you want to mention, you know, well, that's a that's great too. We do have some, or my plan for this fall, this next week is some uh, some specific videos on how to navigate the Bricklink store. So if you're interested in how, how to navigate the store as a seller, or, or sorry, the website. Um, if you're interested in how to navigate the website as a seller, I'm going to have a few tutorials coming out this week on how to do that because it can be a little bit confusing. And now that a significant portion of the, the United States um, population at the exact moment is locked down due to um, you know circumstances we're all aware of, what I'm gonna do is, is do something that helps those people who are trying to start a store at the moment because there are a lot of things in it that are confusing. So be sure to check in in the following week. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and think about doing so so you can follow up with more videos. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and put any questions or comments below or in any other video and I'll answer them hopefully next week in next video. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there.